I'm running for election to represent the people of Burnaby North Seymour for two fundamental reasons, two profound threats to our communities, two crises, climate change and inequality, in particular, the crisis in housing affordability. Housing affordability, it's a theme we always hear about. Uh, Sven Robinson, no stranger to politics. 25 years in Parliament, now making an attempt uh, to seek the NDP nomination. Welcome to you. And uh, you, you've stated your priorities, but timing. Why is now the right time for you to jump back into the political arena? Well, thanks, Riaz, and it's, uh, it's good to be here. Um, look, uh, I think when we look at what we're facing uh, as a community, certainly the Burnaby North Seymour community, what our country is facing, and really what our planet is facing, um, when I talked about climate change and the crisis uh, of climate change, we don't have a lot of time left. Um, housing, um, incredible changes. I've been working internationally, as you know, for the last few years, came back home. When I talked to my, my nephew about uh, the fact that he grew up in Burnaby, uh, you know, and went to school in Burnaby, married, he's a journeyman electrician, got three kids. He can't stay in Burnaby, can't stay in the community he grew up in because he can't afford housing. So as I came back home, uh, banged on doors, talked to community leaders, many people said, look, Sven, uh, uh, you've had a lot of experience. Uh, you were a good member of parliament representing North Burnaby. Uh, folks in uh, the Seymour area, of course, uh, know the work that I did on a range of different issues. Lots of encouragement and support to, to come back and hopefully join Jagmeet Singh as the leader and, and my colleagues. Uh, we've got a terrific team to uh, put these issues front and center. Well, you You've tried, I mean, 25 years in Parliament, you're outspoken about climate change, um, uh, assisted suicide was one of the issues as well, but given your tenure, you enter the political arena, there is a huge responsibility to put forth good ideas, good intentions, but mistakes are put under the magnifying glass. And when you say that you're going door to door now, and really connecting with the people, how many times has the idea of 2004 and the ring incident come up? Is that an issue for these people now? Have they forgiven? And do you believe that you, you know, they're ready to be open to be served? Absolutely. In fact, I wouldn't be doing this if that weren't the case. And that was one of the reasons I went door to door back in my old community in Burnaby, in North Vancouver. People aren't talking about that incident. Um, they recognize that uh, I took responsibility for that. It was a very tough time. It was a painful time. Uh, I was dealing uh, with some struggling with some mental health issues, frankly. And uh, um, it was a serious mistake. But what I've said and what what I'm hearing from people in Burnaby and what I'm hearing from people in Seymour is that uh, you have have a, a lifetime record, and that's what we judge you on, on your record of service to our community. And you mentioned the work that I did. I mean, I, I think you know I, I had a reputation as being one of the hardest working members of parliament in Canada. I mean, I, I, I donated my MP's pay raise to provide scholarships for students. The issues that many of the issues that I battled away on, uh, on assisted suicide with Sue Rodriguez, for example, there's still unfinished business there, work to be done. People said to me, look, um, we're not judging you on the basis of a mistake. We're all human beings. You took responsibility. Let's move forward and deal with the issues. And as you look at moving forward, and especially 2019 being the year of this federal election, Burnaby is an interesting area where you have the current federal NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh, uh, running in Burnaby South. Uh, when you look at your potential uh, seeking this nomination, which is assumed you're going to get this tomorrow, any interest in assuming a federal leadership role for the NDP, given that you were a close contender going back to 1995? Look, we've got a leader. Uh, Jagmeet Singh is our leader, and I, I, I've been so pleased to see the, the support that he's uh, getting in Burnaby South. I've been door, door knocking. The issues, and people are telling me the issues that Jagmeet is out there campaigning on, I represented that area, Riaz. I know every square centimeter of Burnaby South, I represented that area. Those folks want somebody fighting for them that's going to stand up on, on housing issues that, uh, that I talked about, on farmer care and affordable medication, on, on climate change, fighting against the madness of Kinder Morgan and wasting those billions instead of putting it into renewable energy. So I'm confident that, especially once Jagmeet gets into the House, it's been a tough road for him, no question about it. But once he gets into the House and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with, uh, with Trudeau, I think people are going to going to be impressed. And if I can contribute as a member of Parliament uh, from Burnaby North Seymour, that's what I'm hoping to do. Well, for Jagmeet Singh, his competition would have been Karen Wang in Burnaby South. And given the, the mistake that she has admitted, asked for a second chance with the Liberal Party. They've denied that, given uh, the misalignment with the Liberal Party values. What do you think about this? As a politician, you go out there, sometimes mistakes are made. Does Karen Wang deserve a second chance to be inside that arena against Jagmeet? 
Look, I, you know, I, I, I watched the press conference that she gave, and it was painful, frankly. But I think Jagmeet put it best. He said, politicians and political leaders should bring people together shouldn't divide people, right? Uh, and when, when she talked about how, look, I'm Chinese Canadian and so I want you to vote for me because I'm Chinese Canadian. And, and then she really went over the line and said, and don't vote for, basically, you know, don't vote for him because he's Indo-Canadian, right? That's not how you bring people together. When I was a member of parliament representing Burnaby, you know, I, you don't look at, at party labels, you don't look at ethnic background, you represent everybody in that community. And uh, I think the Liberal Party didn't have a choice, frankly. Um, that if, if they're serious about that, uh, they, uh, they had to, uh, to say she doesn't represent our values. Now, you know, I went through the same thing, frankly. Uh, when I was a candidate, I had a liberal, member, uh, liberal candidate running against me, doing the same thing, uh, saying in, a, in, in, in one case it was in Chinese and, and in, in, in another case it was Korean, saying, look, you know, you can't vote for him because, you know, he's a gay guy, right? Well, People rejected that. They were outraged about that. And I think it's the same thing with Karen. Jugmeet is trying to bring people together in the community of Burnaby, and I think that's what people want. Well, the opportunity is out there tomorrow. There will be an event uh, inside Burnaby and North. Uh, you will be there. Jagmeet will be there. And I know David Suzuki will be on hand as well. 2019 will be an interesting one for politics. Uh, good luck. Thank you. With the political comeback. Good to talk to you. Thank you. You as well. Thanks for being here, Sven. Uh, more of your top news stories. Let's check in with Mary.